July is going to be a month of reality checks, making a cozy home, success at work, being left out, and some really deep healing. That's what's in store. Hello, I'm Adam Barillet, and welcome to my monthly astrological update, where we look at what we can expect happening up in the heavens throughout July 2024, and then what gifts from Mother Earth, what crystals and essential oils we can use to help us align and navigate through that. Now, just a friendly reminder that on the last day of June, on the 30th of June, Saturn goes into retrograde. Now, Saturn, reach my crystal, um, is, we know Saturn is in the pictures because it's got the rings around it. Saturn's very much about restriction in traditional astrology, but I like to talk about its aspect of being more about discipline and self-discipline. Like self-discipline often sounds a little bit harsh and you know something we don't want to do, but really self-discipline is a form of self-love. And so when Saturn goes retrograde on the 30th of June until the 15th of November, what you're going to notice is where you are lacking self-discipline, where you're letting yourself slip, maybe in your health uh, practices or in your relationship practices, it'll become to the surface. This is your chance to actually come back, learn that lesson, put it into place and make it a habit that is unnegotiable so that you're not being unhealthy, so you're not dealing with people that you or letting them overstep your personal boundaries and so on. This is a really great time to reach for our Peter site because Peter site almost has the power of lightning. Very powerful, very disciplined, very protective because it's got a chitoyan or a shiny uh, sheen to it as well so it will ward off dangers and negative influence as well. Combine that with a bit of basil essential oil and you're going to be really focused only giving your attention to what helps you and what is beneficial for you. That's why I love basil for exhaustion and adrenal fatigue because when we're exhausted it's often because we're trying to do too much or be everything to everyone and basil helps us to narrow our fo focus. It's said to put a scorpion in the mind and so that you can really be disciplined on what you want to give your energy, your time and your focus to. But now let's move into July and just a couple of days later we actually have another major planetary retrograde. Neptune goes into retrograde. Now what is Neptune all about? We know that Neptune is the ruler of the ocean so I want you to kind of think of that watery kind of flowy energy and Neptune has a very much uh, an energy of beauty. In fact, it's considered to be a higher octave or a higher vibration of Venus. So we know what Venus is all about. So Neptune rules everything that is beautiful in life, especially things like the arts and things that inspire us. Photography, music, dance, all those types of things is very much Neptune. And when Neptune is direct, so not in retrograde, it's kind of like we've got those rose-coloured glasses on and we see everything as being stunning and beautiful. So what do you think might happen when Neptune goes direct? Well, goes retrograde, I should say. Neptune's influence is taken away from our planet. We're left to our own devices. And guess what? Those rose-colored glasses, they're thrown right off and we get a bit of a reality check. You start to see things where you've kind of been putting up with things that maybe you shouldn't have. Maybe conditions at work, maybe conditions in a relationship. Things start to get a little bit harsher and it can be a little bit kind of confronting. The world may not seem as such a beautiful place. But what's the benefit of this? Well, a lot of the time we do let things slide and we kind of see the best in things when maybe it's actually not that good for us. So Neptune retrograde is a really great time paired with that Saturn retrograde of going, okay, let's get a bit more disciplined and let's not put up with rubbish in my life. It's a really great time for clearing out the clutter and getting clear on what you do want in your life. So really, um, really nice cleansing time. A beautiful crystal to work with at that time got a bit of crystal porn food today. This is my Celestite. Celestite, I find, is the most beautiful, um, stunning, amazing crystal when it comes to just helping us connect with that beauty. So this will be a really nice one for, first of all, allowing us when we are feeling a bit like, oh my God, the, wor the world's going through some tough things at the moment anyway, and with Neptune going into retrograde, it may seem a little bit harsher. The wars, the cost of living, the energy crisis, the climate uh, change and all those type of things, you may find that you're feeling a bit like, God, we're in deep trouble. But keep your celestite with you. First of all, what it allows you to do is it allows you to kind of bring back a little bit of magic into your world. It also allows you to cultivate a life of true beauty. And that's exactly what Neptune Retrograde's lesson is. Instead of putting up and fooling ourselves that that relationship or that job or that life circumstance is good enough, Neptune's like, no, 
I'm going to actually improve that and get rid of what's substandard and bring in something that is truly beautiful. And Cellostite will allow you to draw that into your life and to actually see and identify the paths that will lead you towards a truly beautiful life. That is, whereas Saturn wants you to be disciplined and show yourself love in that way, Neptune wants to fill your life with beauty. And I'm not just talking about being glamorous and sexy, but I'm talking about just being inspired and being uplifted by life, that very Neptunian. The essential oil that I'm recommending you work with is celery seed. Now, celery is a plant that is associated strongly with water. It requires a lot of water to grow, and natural celery does grow near watery marshes and that type of thing. So it has a real strong connection to that Neptune energy. What I love about celery seed is celery seed allows us, first of all, it's grounding. So it allows us to ground ourselves during this kind of uh, unsettling retrograde at the start when those rose colored glasses come off, but it also allows you to embrace your individuality and not to get in stuck in comparison, to create your own beautiful life rather than trying to create a carbon copy of something maybe you see on social media or something else, uh, some, some other beautiful life that someone else has. Find something that actually, I guess, lifts the heart, inspires the heart and fills the heart with awe and joy. And that's what Neptune wants, working with Celestite, working with celery seed will really allow you to do that as well. So that is happening on the 2nd. And then on the 6th of uh, July, we have our new moon for the month. Our new moon is in Cancer, the sign of family and home, as well as your house. This is the time to look at how everything's going with your family. Maybe there may be, if you're a parent, you might be looking at your children's behavior and how you've been letting it slide. It may become really obvious at the start of July that it's not acceptable and we need to do something to fix the relationship so that we're more of a team in the household. Um, this is a really great time to make resolutions about family, about how your home feels. Maybe you might make some plans for some home renovations around this time, just to make yourself feel more cozy at home. This is really important because your home is your base. It's your launching pad for you to succeed in all the other aspects of your life. And if you don't feel comfortable at home, it's hard to feel comfortable out in your life as well. This is a great time because Cancer is ruled by the moon to grab your moonstones, but not a normal white moonstone or rainbow moonstone. Grab your black moonstone. This helps you come into this kind of introspective energy. Um, it's got a very kind of like, if you know the goddess Hecate, it really resonates with Hecate and really helps you to um, kind of find what you truly desire and what you truly need. It also has a really nice meditative energy, so it will help to bring some reflective time and some inspiration on this new moon. Now a beautiful oil that's ruled by the sign of Cancer is black spruce. A beautiful conifer that's native to Canada and its Latin name is Picea Mariana. Now that Mariana is actually a reference to Mother Mary. And so I want you to think of black spruce as being the celestial mother. This is a really great oil. It's another great exhaustion oil, actually. So if we are all feeling a bit exhausted midway through the year, there's some, you know, basil and um, black spruce are really nice for helping us to lift us up. Black spruce comforts you when you're feeling overwhelmed, overworked, unsupported. Diffusing this, especially where you can get home at the end of the day as the sun starts to set, it really helps to support you. You can also rub it on the soles of your feet for a bit more support at night. So that happens on the 6th of July. Then we get a bit of a celestial break with nothing too significant happening until we get to the 21st. Then we have a really spectacular event. We have a blue full moon, pardon me, in Capricorn. Um, burping on the smoothie I just had. Um, so what is a blue moon? The sky or the moon is not going to turn blue like a blood moon. That's when there's an eclipse and the moon actually does go red. A blue moon is, the term is used in many different times. Sometimes it's when there is a fourth moon in a season. So like a fourth mo full moon in winter. Sometimes when there is a second full moon in the month. But I don't prefer, I prefer not to use those terms because the calendar is man-made. Whereas when you get two full moons in the same astrological sign, so if you remember June's full moon was in Capricorn and July's full moon is also in Capricorn as well. Why is this auspicious? Well, we get to send some extra full moon magic. We did some last month and we can send some more into that Capricorn aspect of our lives. Whereas Cancer is to do with our home life and our private life, Capricorn is to do with our public life. Work, promotions, pay rises, um, you know, starting new businesses, your legacy, getting out into the world and what you'll be remembered for. 
use the blue moon with some for some extra power and really bringing that through it's like kind of double checking and double reinforcing the energy that you sent out last month on a blue moon, I love to go for some really powerful crystals. First of all, my favorite one is a star sapphire, a blue star sapphire. These are a certain type of sapphire that when you shine a light on it, you'll get this beautiful six-rayed star gliding across it. Wear that and work with that during the blue full moon to bring that blue energy, but also that celestial energy and help to bring the help of more and more guides, ancestors, angels, gods, whatever you work with, Blue Sapphire will help you to do that. It'll also help you to get really, really clear on what you want, what you require in order to succeed that, and what you need to do to succeed in that as well. Pair that with another beautiful blue thing, Blue Lotus. Now, when it comes to Blue Lotus essential oil, we have tested every single Blue Lotus oil that is in the world, and this is the only one that's actually real. So this is, if you want to get your hands on this, please reach out to me wherever you are in the world, I can get it to you, but this is absolutely magical. Now we know that Blue Lotus is probably, along with Rose, one of the most spiritual flowers in the entire world. In fact, when I was starting to get to know Blue Lotus, the amount of gods that this flower is connected with, I can't find any other god that has that many connections to a plant in particular. So Blue Lotus really helps us to connect with the gods, connect with our heavenly self. It also helps us to overcome our emotions and it's really great on a full moon because we can get a little bit emotional. Capricorn is very focused and not too emotional sometimes, although it does work from an undercurrent of low self-esteem. So we want to make sure that our need for success is not just for recognition and feel better about ourselves, but to actually allow our light to shine and contribute to the world. Blue Lotus also allows us to not take on the emotions of other people or the opinions of other people on what we should be doing with our lives so that we can focus on our spiritual quest. So it's a beautiful one to bring in this energy of emotional mastery, emotional focus and spiritual power on this blue full moon so it can really send some energy into that um, working, whatever you're doing on the full moon in Capricorn. My favorite thing to do on Earth full moon, so Capricorn is an Earth sign, is to program a crystal. And if you program a crystal in June, program another one or program four clear quartz and put them around the crystal when you're not wearing the crystal or using the crystal to keep empowering that crystal a little bit more. That's on the 21st of July. Then the next day on the 22nd of July, Eris goes into retrograde. Eris is a dwarf planet. She is slightly larger but slightly lighter than Pluto, floating out there in the way, way solar system. You need a pretty powerful telescope to be able to see her. Now, to understand um, Eris in mythology, a really great way to do that, have you seen the movie Maleficent with Angelina Jolie? It's an amazing one. And you can kind of understand that Maleficent kind of gets a bit angry and a bit vengeful, but she's treated pretty badly. And that's kind of the idea of Eris as well. So when Eris goes into retrograde, our almost our inner Eris or our inner Maleficent we start to realize where we've been left out, where we've been misunderstood, where we've been uninvited, and it really starts to kind of bring some vengefulness out in us. This is a really great time to look at, okay, well, why am, how am I be, being left out? Why am I being left out? And how can I, how can I heal that and not, not, not care about that in, in that type of way? This is a really great time to work with red tourmaline. Red tourmaline helps you to not lose your power because we're, all, we're not going to fit in with everyone. We're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. We're not going to get invited to everything. But to not lose your power, that's what we really want to make sure happens during an Eris retrograde. Get your red tourmaline. Tourmalines grow in strips, in, in, in shards, in long um, tubes, and their energy ebbs and flows. Being red, really great with your base chakra, really good at helping you to own your inner power. You know, Maleficent had a lot of power. Um, and so she did, you know, when she got angry, she pissed it away. We don't want to get angry and piss it away. We want to use it for good, not for bad, not for negativity. If things need to shake up, and sometimes they do need to shake up, when Eris is in retrograde, grab your oregano as well. Oregano is a really great one for breaking old mindsets and for recreating things. If you're familiar with the tarot, oregano really resonates with the tower card. Now, to bring it home at the end of the month, we have Chiron going into retrograde. Chiron is a Greek mythological figure who was abandoned by his parents and then grew up, um, you know, had a bit of a rough childhood, but then grew up to be a great healer, a great teacher, a great muse, and one of the most sought after people in the world. So no matter what had happened to him in the past, he still became 
a great healer and contributed to the world. So what happens around Chiron retrograde, our own wounding can come up of what happened to us in the past. And it can be really valuable. There's simple internet searches you can do to find out what's your Chiron sign and what your core wound is. When you know your core wound on a Chiron retrograde, there tends to be salt thrown on it. So for me, for example, my Chiron is in Taurus. Taurus is about money, and I always have money issues and, and feel worried about money um, when Chiron goes into retrograde. So you want to be prepared for that, and you want to heal that, and you want to come to peace with that. This is where we grab one of our best emotional healing crystals. We grab our Quantum Quattro. Quantum Quattro was found in Namibia in 1996. It's five different crystals. Malachite, which brings issues up to the surface so we can truly look at them instead of ignoring them. Shatterkite, the dark blue that helps us comprehend them. We've got dioptase, which helps us to embrace those uh, challenges and those issues and things that have happened into the past as a lesson rather than something that is a cause of pain. And then we have chrysocolla to let it go. And we have smoky quartz, which then settles us and grounds us afterwards. So wearing this, carrying this, meditating with that during Chiron's retrograde into the 26th of July and so on will be really supportive as well. Bringing with that yarrow. Yarrow is associated with the... Um, the Greek warrior Achilles, but also very much aligned with Archangel Michael. We all have battles and quests to go through in our lives and having the energy of Michael around who defends us, protects us and helps us on our way is really, really powerful. This beautiful oil, you'll see, is a beautiful royal blue color, just like the third eye chakra. And it can be used as a beauty product and massaged into your third eye chakra each and every night to help awaken that energy center and help you to be guided through this healing. A lot of our quests and a lot of our battles in life aren't necessarily out on the field, they're what's happening within us. And Yarrow is a really great one for helping us to purge and bring up and deal with those things and have the confidence that we can make it through the fire. So, a bit of an epic month, but of course we've got our crystals and our oils. Let me summarize for you. Remember on the June the 30th, we've got Saturn going into retrograde. That's where your lack of self-discipline will come to the surface and you'll realize where you're letting kind of health practices or personal boundaries be overstepped and you need to kind of fix them back up. If you don't learn the lessons this Saturn retrograde, guess what? Now come back next Saturn retrograde next year. Neptune uh, retrograde happens on the 2nd of July. This is when you want to grab your celestite and your celery seed because those rose-colored glasses will come off. The world will seem like a harsher place, but this is your opportunity to make a more beautiful and truly inspiring life. Then we have on the 6th, we've got the new moon in Cancer. Grab your black moonstone, really connect with that lunar energy at that time and work out how do I make my home and my inner life and my personal life more comforting and more supportive. Then we have the probably the most magical event of this month, the blue full moon in Capricorn. Grab your blue star sapphire, grab your blue lotus, and make sure that you're ready for this amazing time to re re really reinforce your professional life and what you want to contribute and be remembered for in this world. Your legacy, in other words. The 22nd will be when Eris goes into retrograde. You may feel left out, but don't feel disempowered. Start to bring back your own personal power and not give it away, or get stuck in getting aggressive or revengeful. And then, with Chiron going into retrograde at the end of the month, it can be quite a challenging time, but work with your quantum quattro. It'll help you to process through that. And also that yet beautiful yarrow oil is really nourishing for helping you to support, bring in that Archangel Michael energy and purge what's no longer serving you. So you can actually see that your wounds and your past experiences were actually lessons that now strengthen and benefit you rather than being pitfalls and um, sources of ongoing pain. So good luck in July. I'll be back next month to let you know what's happening. Also, keep tuned to my channel. We'll have other videos on other essential oils, crystals, and other things. If you've got any requests, of course, always reach out and let me know. And if I can help you find any of those beautiful essential oils that I talked about today, you know where to find me. All the details are down below. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.